Okay, so hi everyone, this is um, team 36. Our project is 2D object detection on the Waymo Open Data Set. So first I'll talk about object detection. So it's a very fundamental task for autonomous driving systems and it's very important because the car needs to know what's going on around it. So it can be done using 2D images or even 3D LiDAR data. So what we are doing is 2D object detection and convolution neural networks excel at this, and, but they require uh, massive amounts of labeled data. And the network uh, predicts a bounding box and the type of object that it's detecting. And the network needs to do this in real time. So usually these networks are pre-trained so that our prediction is fast. So the uh, method that we used is called YOLO, which is, stands for you only look once. And just as the name suggests, the um, system only looks at the image once before making a prediction um, of the objects it detects. It, compared to other object detections, it is much faster. Other detectors need to make several passes over the image before detecting an object. And YOLO does this by dividing the image into grids. And each grid has a fixed number of anchors. And each anchor makes a prediction um, of an image. And it predicts a bounding box with a confidence value. And then after this, there's a, these boxes are filtered based on the confidence. And those with higher confidences are kept. And then their predictions are used. So this is an, an example. You can see that the image is divided into grids and then each grid is making a bounding box prediction. And based on the confidences, these are filtered down to the final three boxes, which have the highest confidence. So YOLO predicts um, the center coordinates of the bounding box, the width, the height, the object confidence, and the class to which the object belongs to. Um, yeah, so it uses anchor boxes, which helps in making multiple predictions per grid cell. And because of this, a lot of boxes overlap. And then to um, choose the boxes, to choose which boxes are in the final prediction, we use something called IOU, um, which is intersection over union, which we'll discuss later on. And one of the drawbacks of YOLO is that it has trouble with small objects, and when it does detect an object, it sometimes doesn't, um, the box, bounding box doesn't cover the entire object. So the data which we used was from the Waymo open set data, from the Waymo open data set, and it has tens of thousands of images, and we use the 2D uh, images for object detection, and the classes which we had to predict were vehicle, pedestrian, cyclists, and signs. And the data was in, um, collected under various um, weather conditions. So there was a lot of variety in the data. And now we'll talk about the network architecture. Right. Okay, you can see my screen. Yep. Okay. So uh, for the, the network architecture, we implemented the uh, darknet architect architecture that was made available by the YOLO authors. Um, this architecture is a deep convolutional neural network, uh, and each layer has uh, alternating uh, filter sizes. Uh, and as the network progresses, the depth gradually increases and the uh, width and height gets smaller. Um, in between the convolutional layers, there's uh, batch normalization and max and max pooling. Uh, the activation function is a type of uh, ReLU. Uh, the network generates a 40 output volume uh, corresponding to the, the grid height, grid width, number of anchors per grid cell, and the, the number of predictions, which, which was 10 in our case. Um, and here you can see uh, uh, just a small example, an uh, excerpt of our, of our network. Uh, you can see as it, as it goes through the max pooling layers, 
uh, uh, decrease the width and height and the, the depth increases. And, and in between those layers, we also have uh, some, uh, some one strided max pooling just to add extra layers and, and not decrease the dimensions too fast. Uh, and we also use uh, the L2 regular regularizer and the, the atom optimizer for uh, gradient descent. And uh, for data pre-processing, um, we, uh, so the, the Waymo data set uh, consists of a lot of data for a lot of different machine learning tasks. Uh, so it was already in the coordinates that we needed, uh, center coordinates with height and class. So what we did is uh, we took all those, based on the center coordinates, we put the, the, the vectors in the proper grid cell, and then we used intersection over union, which is the ratio of intersection area uh, to union area between two boxes. And we used that on the, the, the boxes in the Waymo data set and the anchor boxes that we created to select the proper anchor for each box and put it in the correct, correct grid cell and correct anchor. And there were about 15,000 images and we uh, created a, a grid for each image. Uh, so we trained it on a, an NVIDIA GPU with 16 gigabytes of memory. We trained for 15 epochs, measured the loss, precision, and recall for, after each epoch. Um, many images were correlated sequentially, so we shuffled them to prevent our network from learning false correlations. And here is the results. You can see our validation and uh, training loss on the left, and then precision recall on the right. Uh, we achieved a max precision of about 0.25 in validation. Here's some examples of uh, what we got after running our test data set. You can see it usually, it usually detects objects, but sometimes it has too many uh, bounding boxes. Um, so we achieved uh, about a 3.7% precision and recall on our test data set. Um, our network detected most objects, but sometimes the boxes were off. Uh, we gathered another metric uh, that looked at some of the bounding boxes that didn't meet our IOU threshold for an, a true positive. And we found that it detected an additional 17% of objects uh, um, that didn't meet our IOU threshold. And we think that maybe if we had trained for more epochs, it could have improved our predictions. All right, and that's, that's it. Thank you.